the five, the league, uh, Texas League Championship Series makes its way to Hodgetown tonight. And with a win this evening, the Amarillo Sod Poodles would be crowned the 2023 Texas League Champions. Let's begin our Sod Poodles team coverage with News Channel 10's Preston Moore, who joins us from the ballpark. Greg, Lindsay, if the Saudis win tonight, it'll be the first time they win the Texas League Championship since 2019, their inaugural season. And, but that was in Tulsa. Tonight, they'll have the chance to do it in front of their hometown crowd, something that manager Sean Roof and President Tony Ensor don't take for granted. The fans have been awesome. Mm -hmm. Saudi Nation is unbelievable. You know, we have the best facilities in all of baseball. To see those, those screaming, ruckus fans yeah. every <laughs> single night. Um, I know they're going to be out there tomorrow. I know they're going to be screaming and hollering. We're going to try to put on the best show possible. You know, I will say this, too. You know, when, when our fans come out there, they do support the, this team. Mm -hmm. Win, lose, or draw. It doesn't matter. These are our boys, mm -hmm. and they're going to support them, and I think that's the coolest thing. First pitch is scheduled for 7.05 tonight here at Hodgetown. Amarillo won the first game of the series 3-2 in Arkansas on Sunday. Tonight it'll be Yilbert Diaz on the mound for the Saudis. He pitched five innings in game two of the last series against the San Antonio Missions, only allowing seven hits with seven strikeouts on the day. We'll have continuing coverage throughout the day, including on the news at 6 and the news at 10, including highlights on the news at 10. It's quiet here for now, but the Sod Poodles have made a difference outside the ballpark, too, as Sydney Batslav reports. Sydney? Yeah, Preston, no fans yet. We're waiting for the gates to open. Many fans right now might be choosing to have a pregame drink or a bite to eat before the game. I spoke with some of our area bars and restaurants about the economic impact Sopitals Games has on our economy, but also the economic impact of a championship game. Definitely expecting to win, so I want to get a win in Amarillo. That would be great. Not only is Seth Quinn, owner of Crush Wine Bar and Grill, expecting a win, he's expecting an influx of customers. We notice a lot of people want to come in and maybe have a glass of wine or a cocktail that they can't maybe get at the game or even a craft beer, um, and that's something that we can provide here. Right next to Crush is Lit Arcade Bar, which is also expecting a rush of customers. The general manager says he brought in extra staff for the night and made sure the bar is stocked. On game weeks, you always have to get extra supplies, you know, extra, keep more beer on hand, you know, and just in case. Bar and restaurant owners say they're a huge advocate of Hodgetown being downtown. More events and more attractions downtown is ultimately going to bring more people down here. When more people are down here, they're more likely to come support these downtown businesses. So I'm, I'm big on anything and everything being downtown, especially our minor league baseball team here at Amarillo. Those owners I spoke with say they are expecting a huge win from the Sod Poodles tonight, but if we do go into a game three, they're ready for that extra business. Again, that first pitch for game two is scheduled for 7.05. From Hodgetown, Sydney Batsloff, News Channel 10.